Hello everybody, I'm Mr. 901 Tommy Jackson, official maestro of content for Looney Tunes World of Mayhem. And we just got the info dropped on us earlier today about the brand new Alchemist Frankenbeans event. And we're going to take a look at that blog post today on this video. Also, I would encourage you folks to check out the special Deep Dive Live that we did live today on Twitch. And whenever brand new content hits, heck, five days a week at 1 p.m. Central, you can join me live at, on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Mr. 901 Tommy Jacks. Now, this is a brand new event format, so we're going to go over this blog post. It's a little lengthy, but here's the thing. I would much rather have more info in a blog post than less. So without further ado, guys, let's jump in to this blog post of mayhem. All right, so the blog post of Mayhem today, the Alchemist Frankenbeans is here. Um, brand new event format, which actually, according to a lot of the Jack's Army chat, is kind of a new mixed with an old event in some of the ways they're doing it. We'll go over that. It says, welcome the great Alchemist Frankenbeans, a new epic support tune who brews his arcane elixirs alongside the Archmaid Egg Egghead the Knowing and the bumbling apprentice hugo he also brings with him a brand new event format now they do have an embedded video here to give you a small sneak peek but we've also got a sneak peek right here on the talking tommy channel encourage you to take a look at that we've got some extended gameplay footage on there but let's get to the actual blog post good team combinations now we went over this a lot today live on twitch and um i think we've got a couple of uh alternatives where we can switch out a couple of people make a few different combinations but we'll just talk straight about this team right now the team they they are suggesting and possibly what would be the spotlight magic team is alchemist frankenbeans apprentice hugo the sea devil and egghead the knowing this event's going to last for four days and the featured tunes for this particular event are egghead the knowing alchemist frankenbeans the Sea Devil, Apprentice Hugo, Siegfried Elmer, Yeti Gossamer, Valkyrie Bugs, Merlin Sam, Witch Doctor Hazel, Black Knight Sam, Devil Dog, and Witch Hazel. So a good variety there. You've only got one legendary. Uh, so hopefully that's a little bit easier for people to uh, get in and, and start turning away on this. So general highlights, it's a minimum player level 40. And in this event, it's all about completing event quest. Head to your event quest section to guide you through this event. Completing event quest is the only way to earn the important alchemist bag energy to play for alchemist Franken beans pieces. Also, this event has a daily component to it. See below for the schedule. Um, so the event quest section is going to be located the same place where you get your daily objectives from. Once you click there, you'll notice you go over and there will be an event quest section. And that's what they're talking about where most of these you're going to find. So day one, campaign day, new repeatable quests are campaign based. Day two, brawl day, new repeatable quests are brawl based. Day three, crate cracker day, new repeatable quests are based on spinning newly surfaced wheels using tokens obtained from newly surfaced event crates. And day four is bonus day. All the previous quests are running for one final day. Um, you're probably wondering about the repeatable. Well, here's a little info about it, and I'll try to explain further. All repeatable quests will stack on each other, meaning on day two, all day one repeatable quests will still be running, and on day three, all repeatable quests from the first two days will still be running, etc. So what we're going to see is we've got a basic campaign, then we're going to have four days of dailies. Along with those four days of dailies that are only last for 24 hours, there are a set of quests for each one of those days that continue to be repeatable, throughout the event. Uh, tournaments, there are solo and alliance tournaments, which is a little new. Scoring rules solely revolve around completing event quests for both. So for example, solo tournament rewards include Cosmic Stars for Alchemist Frankenbeans, Crest of Mayhem for Alchem Alchemist uh, Frankenbean Pieces, Golden Tickets, Gems, Old Switches, Regional Materials, and more. Alliance Tournament Awards include Special Boost Cubes, Great Cosmic Stones, Cosmic Stones, 
find vials, tune-up tickets, and more. So essentially, your solo quest pretty much the same as always. And then they've added an alliance spot for boost cubes, cosmic stones, stuff like that. I kind of dig that. Uh, there are exchanges, and they're letting us know about them. So the exchanges, exchange your alchemist goggles, which is going to be our MacGuffin for the event, in our event store exchanges for the Sea Devil, Apprentice Hugo, Siegfried Elmer, Yeti Gossamer, Valkyrie Bugs, Merlin Sam, Witch Doctor Hazel, Black Knight Sam, Devil Dog, Witch Hazel, Secret Stuff, Fine Dynamite, Fine Anvils, XP Potion, and Gold. All right, so now we're getting into the nitty gritty of everything, the actual day by day highlights. So day one, special energy and event token info. Alchemist bag energy, a special energy obtained from event quest. Uh, rewards and used to play through the A Demonic Tonic campaign, the primary place you will earn Alchemist Frankenbean pieces. Important! This energy does not regenerate and cannot be refilled by spending gems. This is this feels a lot uh, like the Gentleman Peppy event, um, where there was only one particular way to get it. It wasn't that you could use gems, you couldn't exchange for energy. So event quests are going to be the only spot that you get that special energy so keep that in mind the other type of MacGuffin in this event is alchemist goggles a token that can be obtained in the in the a new brew campaign and used on exchanges and event stores so day one's quest info the repeatable quests revolve around consuming campaign energy and collecting alchemist goggles these quests will last until the end of the event and can be repeated 20 times each before running out. Now, here's a big thing I want you guys to be aware of, and they're putting it all in bold right here. Important, make sure to claim rewards for the campaign energy quest as soon as you consume 500 energy. Any energy consumed after 500 will not count towards the next quest until the reward has been claimed. So imagine it like a bar of 500 energy. Once once you've completed that quest, go in there and claim that because if you continue to spend energy, you're not actually accruing anything towards the quest. I'm glad they actually put that in there and that's not something that we have to find out on our own. There are also day one quests that last for only 24 hours. Make sure to complete all of them before day two starts. And that's more similar to what we're used to with the daily type campaigns. There are three campaigns as far as the actual event itself goes, uh, not associated with the with the days, uh, like each day. Um, a demonic tonic requires alchemist bag energy and is the only place to obtain alchemist frankenbean pieces outside the ticket wheel. So there you go. We can find him in the ticket wheel as well. So for you guys that have taken my advice, stash some golden tickets in the old mattress for a rainy day. It's about to storm tomorrow. All right, so a new brew. Requires regular campaign energy and rewards alchemist goggles, which is our MacGuffin. Um, magic challenge requires regular campaign energy and the magic team and also rewards alchemist goggles, among other rewards. Okay, so essentially each day is going to have its own quest associated with it, uh, along with just a regular daily type campaign. Um, so what you're going to have to do is each day play this event. You can't skip out on it. You need to make sure that you're doing all the repeatable quests. You got to make sure that you're doing all your daily campaigns and then rolling through these campaigns. So there's a lot more to this particular event. Um, and I, right now I'm just going to tell you guys my initial impressions. Uh, there is something about it that I'm kind of eh about, but however, I do like the fact that we're going to be busy for those four days. Now, some of that busy feels uh, to me without playing the event yet, a little bit like busy work, but at least we're not completing the entire event day one, maxing out all the milestones and then throwing our hands up. What do we do now? All right, so day two. Today's repeatable quests revolve around brawling and opening brawl crates. Now this is the part that I'm kind of, uh, if anybody's played any brawl, which I'm sure most of you have, it's not the easiest thing to hold on to crates, but let's read. This quest will last until the end of the event and can repeat 20 times each before running out. Important. Please make sure to claim the repeatable brawl and open brawl crates, crates quest rewards immediately after brawling the necessary 25 times and immediately after opening the necessary 15 crates. Any brawls or crates open beyond the 25 or 15 will now 
count towards the next quest until the rewards have been claimed and the new quests appear. So just like above, you have to make sure that you claim your rewards. Keep track. Okay, so right here it's telling us we're going to have to brawl 25 times and open 15 crates. Okay, we can do that over and over again because it's repeatable. But if you do it before you get your rewards, you're not going to get credit. And I keep saying that because I don't want anybody to miss out. Um, there are also day two quests that last for only 24 hours. Um, and that's usually going to be, you know, from what we've seen bef before, it's going to be uh, stuff associated with do this little simple campaign done type stuff, if I had to guess. All right, so day three highlights, event token info, alchemist poison, and alchemist toxins. Now, this is day three of the event, and we've got new MacGuffins. So this is a little different here. Alchemist poison, a token that can be obtained from event crates and used on the poison wheel. And then alchemist toxin, a token that has a chance to drop in event crates and used on the toxin wheel. So essentially what they're saying is there's going to be a couple of different wheels that pop up on day three. On day three, you can use the poison or the toxin to spin that wheel, but you're going to get them from event crates. Now, event crates they used to do back in the day. Um, we're going to take a look once the event drops live on stream tomorrow and see if it's if it's set up the same way. But essentially, the way this is set up is today's repeatable quests revolve around spinning the new poison and toxin wheels. These quests will last until the end of the event and can repeat 20 times each before running out. Bonus quest for spinning the Toxin Wheel will unlock for players who complete all 20 previous Toxin Wheel quests. There are also Day 3 quests that last for only 24 hours, so make sure that you do those before Day 4. So here's the info on the crate. Magic crates are here. Use two, two featured event tunes to attack and defend magic crates, which can be open for Alchemist Poison and a chance at Alchemist Toxin. And we will take a look live on stream at all the chances and everything. So I encourage everybody to join us for that uh, when this event hits. These crates are available to all 40 plus players, level 40 plus players, that have unlocked at least two featured event tunes. Now, back in the day, from what I understand, you had to have the character in order to defend the crate. I'm not sure if that's the case with this. They did not, they did not mention it. So... I'm just, we're just going to have to see. So the day, the day four highlights, quest info. All previous repeatable quests are here for one final day. No new repeatable quests will appear today. However, there are day four quests. So like each day has their own quest. And then you've got repeatables that last the entire time. Uh, as always, make sure to complete these before the event ends. So on day four, everything that we could do for the first three days we're able to do them once again. So the only issue I have here is the crate part. I don't have the, the easiest time with the crates. Therefore, I'll be the first one to tell you I don't try really hard in, in the brawl. I mean, essentially, I go in, I need some materials, I find that crate, I get that crate, kind of dunsky. But this is going to make sure that you have to play it. In fact, like I said, right up here, 25 or 15, for day two and then the only way that you can get these is also by crates so i'm curious of how that's going to work i am very excited for alchemist frankenbeans i would say as far as the event goes i'm hyped to get a hold of alchemist frankenbeans but i'm going to reserve judgment until i see the event do i have a few things that i'm raising an eyebrow at absolutely but we're going to reserve judgment until the day of, and I do encourage everybody to join me. We'll be live when the event drops, twitch.tv forward slash Mr. 901 Tommy Jacks. And uh, let me know how you guys feel about this new event. Let me know what you're thinking about the new tune or just anything in the, in the world of mayhem. And while you're here, do me a favor. Do a run in on that old subscribe button. Bang that bell. Throw a like on this thing for crying out loud. And stay loony, and we'll catch you down the road.